Hi everyone. Welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about VCF, what's new in VCF version 4.5. So before going to learn what's new in VCF latest version 4.5, let's quickly understand VCF 4.x capability evaluation. OK, and then followed by we can talk about what's the new features in VCF 4.5, but I'm not going to discuss about VCF 3 edition 1 and 2 editions because it's already outdated. So we'll start observing from a VCF 4.x. That means it's starting from 4.0, 4.1, 2, 3, 4 and latest is 4.5, but publicly it will release by this year end or next year first quarter. OK. So VMware Cloud Foundation for the tax compatibility evaluation. So within the VCF features, we have a versions starting from 4.0 within four series. We have 4.0, 4.1, 2, 3, and 4. So 4.0, it's released on April 2020 and 4.1 October 2020 and 4.2 was released in February 2021 and 4.3 last year august 2021 and 4.4 february 2022 and recently during the august vmware explore vmware officially announced they released via vcf 4.5 as well but 5 they come up with a vcf plus vcf plus means instead of a perpetual license it's available in a subscription based license as well okay that is only the main difference same like our vSphere also now nowadays it's available as vSphere plus and vSAN also vSAN plus is available from the 8th edition onwards. Same way VCF also running working uh, now the released as a VCF plus that is like a subscription based model. OK, so now quickly understand what is the main changes between 4.0 to 4.0 until the 4.4. So previously we have NSX V, NSX only for the vSphere platform and later VMware introduced NSXT transformers architecture. So this architecture is supported only starting from the 4.0 edition and NSXT architecture in 4.1, they added here some additional parallel upgrades. That means in within NSXT, we have a multiple components like NSXT is it's have a NSXT manager. Manager consists of control planes and also we have additional components like NSX edges and within the NSX edges, we can configure as a few edges for your load balancer and few edges for your distributed logical router. While upgrading, it's normally we should follow a sequence sequential upgrade like first we can upgrade NSX manager and then followed by the uh, logical router and finally we can plan for a load balancer devices upgrade that is a usual sequence but when it comes to the VCF environment it's saying that from the 4.1 edition onwards it's also supported for a parallel upgrade so this feature is come uh, for 4.1 it's applicable for all the latest versions and another feature is Kubernetes workload management. WL means workload management and uh, Kubernetes workload management means normally we, we have vSphere with the Tanju feature. Similarly, Tanju also can run on VCF. So when we're running the Tanju on VCF environment and we can able to create a Tanju Kubernetes clusters. So all these uh, Tanju Kubernetes cluster VMs and also the vSphere pods can be managed from vSphere 4.0 version 2 until the latest version. And another key feature, we, we realize lifecycle manager or VMware lifecycle manager, firmware lifecycle management also can perform from a 4.0 and it's applicable for all the edition during the 4.3 version they added some new enhancement plus they added as a pre-check of lcm clusters also added okay and another feature is role based access control user roles that is also applicable normally this role, user roles are taken care by one of the vcf component that is identity manager that is a formal name but latest name is workplace Workplace is the one of the component that is taking care of all the VCF user roles. And it is also compatible for all the edition. One enhancements done at the 4.1 version, they added a additional user role, which is viewer and local admin role. Okay. 
and another feature is automated nsx edge deployment so nsx edge deployment normally we have to deploy the edges manually but now in the vcf 4.0 version onwards they introduced a feature called we can deploy nsx edge automatically using the stdc manager so that is also included from 4.0 until the 4.4 and within the 4.1 they added additional feature that is x large form factor normally edge deployments it's a it's available as a small same like t-shirt sizes they added a, after the lodge we have a x large so x large is introduced from a version 4.1 and so if they introduce from 4.1 means this edition is available for all the latest editions and even in the version 4.3 they included some additional feature expand and shrink workflows okay and another vcf feature is principal storage support normally the vmware recommend that for management domain we can should configure with a vsan storage and for the workload domain we can configure any of the third party vcpp program or certified storage solutions so here in the 4.1 vmware officially says it's also supported for a virtual volumes feature and in the, it is also support for all the edition and within the 4.4 edition they are saying a one new introduced the one concept called not only normally we as we aware vcf if we want to start with a vcf with a consolidated architecture we should start with the minimally four nodes but from the version 4.4 onwards the, even we can also deploy the vcf on a two node so starting with a two nodes also possible and it is you can configure on a nfs network file system fiber channel sand and virtual volumes okay and another key feature is remote cluster or we can say robo support remote office branch offices earlier in 4.0 version we do not have this facility to deploy the vcf on a remote or branch offices location but from 4.1 onwards you can deploy not only on on premises you can deploy an edge location and robo infrastructures and ESX and NSXT parallel upgrade. Earlier we talked about here NSXT parallel upgrade, but now they are saying that not only NSXT parallel upgrade, even if you want to do parallel upgrade for ESX and NSXT, that is also possible. But uh, without VCA, if you want to do the ESX and NSXT parallel upgrade, it's not recommended. First, we have to finish the ESX upgrade, and then we can start with the NSX upgrade. Or if the version is, there is a layer, lower and latest version, better always recommend to review the VMware interoperability matrix. And based on the upgrade path only, we can recommend Comment to do but in the vcf scenario version 4.1 onwards it's supported for a esx and nsxt parallel upgrades and within that upgrade they also added some additional features like lcm baseline images and all okay and another key feature in vcf is skip level upgrade support skip level upgrade support means suppose our environment is running with vcf 3 series so even the 3 series if you want to upgrade to 4.0 the 4.0 there is no skip level support we have to do all the continuous subsequent upgrades and finally we can come to the 4.0 edition but when it comes to the 4.1 onwards we can able to skip suppose our version is 3.0 or vcf 3.5 any series that 3 dot series we can skip the middle versions like 4.0 we can directly upgrade it to the 4.1 version that is the meaning of skip level upgrade support and in 4.2 they also introduced some feature is release version user interface and enhanced some pre-checks features are increased enhanced and 4.0 is by default it is supported here okay so now these all the features are we verified the compatibility from 4.0 to 4.4 and the last three features like robo support and parallel esx nsxt and skip level skip level upgrade supports are not available in a 4.0 version okay and even sometimes the customers may ask why should i directly upgrade to 4.4 or 4.3 that time these features are helpful okay what is the new enhancements added to the latest version okay so now let's talk about some other features so within the 
VCF, we have a multi physical NIC deployment. That feature is not available on 4.0. It's st available starting from 4.1 onwards. And another feature, it is one of the advanced feature, virtual SAN, hyper-converged infrastructure, HCA mesh support. That is also not available on version 4.1. It's available starting from 4.2 edition to and later editions. Okay. And NSXT Federation, this is also advanced feature. This Federation support also available starting from the version 4.2 onwards. Okay. And within the 4.3, they added some additional features like password, certificate backup also we can take for a NSXT Federation level. And another is ESXA lockdown mode support that is also available from version 4.2, VCF 4.2 version onwards. And AVN, AVN means application virtual network. So application virtual network post deployment, it's a simplified bring up procedure is introduced from version 4.3 onwards, and it's not available on 4.0, 1 and 2. And another feature is FIPS 140-2 compliant is optional feature. This is available from version 4.3 onwards. And vgpu support with nvidia artificial intelligence enterprise suit this in this key feature is introduced from version 4.4 onwards so that means this vgpu and nvidia is also included in the latest version 4.5 and another last but not the least we rely life cycle management flexible upgrades so we are flexible to upgrade the entire vcf software stack that flexible upgrades also available from 4.4 onwards that means last two features applicable for version 4.5 as well okay now let's talk about what's new in vmware cloud foundation version, latest version 4.5 so in 4.5 the main key features are one one key feature is nvidia empire integration and virtual machine service with vgpu vgp means graphical processing units it's specifically used for your video analytic application artificial intelligence and machine learning applications and also it support for a multi instance gpus that is the new enhancement in version 4.5 and another is we release 8.x that means uh, starting from 8.6 and later editions with VELCM flexible upgrades also supported. And another one is VCM platform security and robustness enhancements. And another one is virtual SAN and data persistent platform enhancement. These four are the major enhancements in VCF version 4.5. Okay. And next session, we are going to talk about how we can start provisioning the VCF deployment. OK, so that's it for today. Thank you. If you're watching this video first time, please do view, like, share and subscribe to the Grand Cloud Garage channel. If you're already subscribed, I appreciate all your support. Bye for now.